Hey kids, welcome to another one of these Cool Tool Tuesday videos. I am talking way too fast. Uh, this week on Cool Tool Tuesday, we will be looking at Fast Cap's three-way clamps. I've been specifically instructed not to make the obvious joke. So we all know how handy the spring clamp is, right? Your classic, you know, Take it off, put it on, it does everything. It, it's very nifty on the spot, holy downy things. Um, they have a million uses in the shop, you know. Uh, this one in particular is very slick. Uh, in that, it's, you know, it's very solid. It's got good clamping pressure. It feels good. Like I'm probably just getting a bit of a workout doing just this. Um, and it has these nice soft rubber feet, fingertips, whatever you're gonna call them, uh, so that it doesn't mar up any of your surfaces. Uh, the, the funny thing is, this one in particular, my wife uses these. She's a photographer, uh, and she uses these to hold backdrops to the poles at the top. Now the crossbar, what's that bar called? The crossbar? Yeah. <laughs> she uses these to hold the backdrop to the crossbar on her backdrops. It's very slick. But Fastcap's version of the spring clamp, this one, is very cool in that they've taken it an extra step further and they've added this bit of rubber coated steel uh, which is also just spring steel I guess uh, that is there specifically to turn this into a uh, an edge bending clamp right it's there specifically to turn this into a clamp for doing edge banding if you make things out of plywood, you would want to put uh, little strips of timber along the edges when you're finishing so that you can hide the kind of inner plies and striations and whatnot in the plywood and make it look like you've made a piece out of solid timber, right? These are great for just that because you can put the, uh, the piece of timber against the plywood, right? And you can apply pressure this way, like this, before clamping it down this way, and it clamps it down nice and solid. Now, it's easier to uh, show you than to kind of clamp things to my hand. It's kind of a dumb way of doing it. So I've got a piece of timber here and another piece of timber here, and I'm just gonna do it that way. You see, I put some pressure down before releasing it. So that actually puts some pressure on the steel band and pushes this into this before letting go and having these two grip this piece here. It's fantastic. You glue it down, it's there for good. Now. In my own shop, I just recently made uh, some shelving for my wife that I mentioned earlier, uh, and I used some edge banding, and I only have two of these, right? So what I ended up doing was just clamping it down in two places and driving a nail in the middle, right? And then leapfrogging this one down the bench and then putting another nail and then leapfrogging this one down and driving a nail that way. And it worked out surprisingly well. I was worried I was gonna have to come back and get a whole ton more but they are fantastic. Very useful if you do any edge banding, traditional edge banding. You know, like not that rubber sheet stuff that FastCat also make. Because these aren't your cheapies, they're also great for a ton of random things around the house as well. There you have it, Fast Cap's three-way spring clamp. It's very, very useful for many things in the shop and around the house. I love it. Uh, now you can just, you can do a lot of the same things with those cheap, you know, orange plastic ones from down at the Hammer Barn, you know, but those are crap. They cost $2, these are really good. Fast Cap's three-way clamp, very, very useful piece of kit. You should go get a couple. There you go. If you like uh, this video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and tell everybody you know who might also like this video, I suppose. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get emailed notifications and whatnot. Eh, you know how it is. It's YouTube. We've all done the things. Don't forget there are also links to this and everything you need to know to get wood working here at Timbicon down in the doobly-doo. Uh, so, up here, YouTube thinks you'll like this video. We agree. Usually it's something related and very cool. We, however, know for a fact that you'll like this one. You should just watch this one. That one's good. This one's better. <laughs> <laughs>